Uh, hi Kata, um, I just explained to you how to import uh, the TIFF inside the AutoCAD. Um, as you can see here, the UAV Phantom 4, uh, the image I sent to you, uh, that you have uh, have these uh, dimensions you can see here, uh, 21,000, etc. Um, this is the dimension of the image, okay? So the real boundaries in pixels of the image that has been taken. Um, for having uh, it uh, inside uh, the AutoCAD, uh, the only thing uh, you need to do is a uh, mathematical calculation. I explain you what you need to do. Uh, the resolution of the image, I've made uh, this uh, little uh, Excel file for all the others uh, orthophotos. The um, um, calculation you need to do is uh, uh, a proportion between the, uh, res uh, the resolution uh, in uh, pixel by meters that for the UAV is this value, 0 0.02, that uh, is uh, conform to the scale of uh, 1 to 200 that uh, Professor Fassi said to us. Um, the only thing is that you need to uh, complete, but uh, I have done it uh, for you uh, really simply. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really... Uh, okay. You see here the, the dimension of the image. I just reported it uh, here, the width and then the height. The calculation is... Uh, a really simple calculation for having understanding the width in meters and the height in meters. Uh, the thing is uh, you need to take this uh, times the resolution and of course you get uh, the dimension in meters. The only thing uh, is that uh, knowing these two informations, the only thing uh, you need to do is uh, to import the um, TIFF inside the um, the AutoCAD. How to do it? You jump to the AutoCAD. I'm sorry, it's in Italian, but I think, uh, <laughs> I hope you can understand clearly. Uh, you go to Insert, then Attach. You, of course, search for the uh, survey, and for the file, that is this one. You don't specify uh, any any point, so it uh, it goes to the coordinates uh, zero uh, comma zero. You wait a second, and then uh, this is it. Uh, the interesting feature in AutoCAD is that if you have the property toolbar open, I have uh, always uh, here open on the left. Uh, you select the image. And he says uh, width and height is in meters, okay, or in the unit of the AutoCAD drawing. Actually, uh, now I'm uh, in uh, without units, if I don't remember wrongly, but uh, in any case, it uh, considered the units, of, these are the units of the AutoCAD. You just need to copy the data. That is uh, uh, this one. Of, of course, it doesn't work, but uh, uh, 439.12. And then, if you insert only one dimension, you can see that the other is just a understanding look. And this is uh, the image scaled in the drawing. Uh, for example, if we do a sort of uh, which uh, dimension could be uh, measure uh, distance I have never played tennis, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, 
high dimension of uh, 23 meters is uh, quite good. But uh, believe me, is uh, the correct way of uh, <laughs> of uh, the the scaling. Uh, and um, yes, this is it. Um, so yes, keep in mind uh, the property tab here in AutoCAD and uh, the just a little uh, little calculation you need to do and uh, of course the resolution you were saying uh, earlier okay uh, bye bye and i hope I, it was clear <laughs>